Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got a special edition spotlight for you. We got the makeover of CO2. She got a six and a half inch BDS, some Fox 2.0s, some Hostile Striker 24 by 14s, and some 36s. Let's go. Hey guys, like I said, we got a 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. This is the uh, 6.0 gas. If you remember, we started this truck two years ago. This was our first real full build from scratch of a brand new vehicle. And our whole goal at that time was to build the entire truck for $75,000, truck and all the mods and everything included. So we have the rough, we had the rough country lift and we're running some hostiles on it. And we you know, put together each piece um, kind of on, on a budget to make sure that we could prove that you could build almost a SEMA looking truck on a budget that I think you know other people could strive to achieve. Well this year we wanted to get a little more carried away and do some of the stuff that I was missing over the last two years on this truck and we went all out. So we're gonna show you what we've all done to it. So we've got the new lift kit on there. This is gonna be a six and a half inch BDS lift kit. And you'll see we went with the Fox 2.0 shocks on the front and rear. And then we also, for the ball joints, we wanted to get our angles just right going up six and a half inches like that. So we've got the um, upper control arms. I think we went with, that's a Fabtech upper control arm that we ended up using. We weren't able to find the one that we wanted to match as far as uh, Fox BDS. So BDS, if you're listening, I sure would love a control arm that matches. So we dropped out the upper control arms. You're going to see we pulled out some of the steering components and then also sent in all the lift components, lower control arms, drop brackets, everything, the powder coats. We had all of that powdered white. Same thing back here. We've got the Fox 2.0 upgraded shocks and then we took apart the leaf pack, sent all of that out, had all of that powder coated to get that look we were looking for. Now, right now what we went with is the, um, the five inch block in the rear which basically gave the truck quite a bit of rake when we had the front keys cranked down. So for the meantime, we've cranked up the keys to level the truck out, but what we're actually gonna do is swap out this five inch block with the three inch, and then we're gonna add some airbags back here so we can go from just a slight, slight squat to level to actually rake, or when you're towing, to lift it up and then let the weight pull it back down. So we're still messing with that, but we didn't wanna delay bringing the truck out and showing you guys what we've done with it. So as far as wheels and tires, this is the brand new Hostel Striker that just came out this year. And like I said, it's gonna be a uh, 24 by 14, negative 76 offset. So you're gonna see it's gonna gobble up our bill with no problem. 
It's just short of a nine inch lip, I believe. I think it's eight, eight and a half ish. And you'll see we went with chrome wheels. We've been a big fan of chrome. Now this one is gonna be, you know, a sort of directional. It, they're gonna be a directional pattern, but all of them are going the same way. So you'll see on this side of the truck, they're all gonna dig. And then on the other side of the truck, they're all gonna scoop so that um, it's not a true direction where you have a left and a right and you can actually still rotate. And then what we did for tires is we wrapped them in the uh, Nitto trail wraps. And these are the 375 40 R24. What that equates out to be is basically a 36 inch tall and then about a 15 inch wide. I believe it's 35.8 by 14.8. So it's a big meaty wide tire and it gives you that perfectly up and down sidewall. If you kind of scoop in here, Mario, you see with that 14 wide and that 14.8 tire, you end up with almost a perfectly square sidewall, which I'm a huge fan of. And this is like the perfect tire size when you're doing the 24 by 14s. It turns out really good. And now for trimming, we did have to get into quite a bit. Like I said, we've got the six and a half inch BDS, but with the Chevy square wheel wells, you'll remember if you saw the original video, we already had to take this bumper that used to come straight down like this. We took it and kind of followed the line and ran it all the way down and trimmed the entire valence. So this whole entire thing has been trimmed, including the bumper all the way down. And then in the back, same thing. You can see that we're still rubbing quite a bit. To do that right, you'd have to get in and do quite a bit of body work. So we took off these cab corners because it was gonna rip them off if we didn't. And we just pushed that back as much as we could. And I'm just gonna have to keep going in there with some touch up paint because this setup on um, the 14 wides with the 36 is, it's just never gonna clear, clear on a six and a half. <clears throat> but I don't wanna keep going up. So that's where I stopped with the trimming and I'm just gonna let that rub because that doesn't bother me one bit. It's, it's the cost of uh, playing. So as far as the rest, there's about 14,000 other things going on here. So I'll take you from front to back. You'll see we've got a curved 20 inch LED light bar up front. And what that does is it runs almost perfect with the bumper because it's got that curve in it. And to do that, we've got some custom brackets we put in there and then we had to trim out this valence up front to get it to wrap around there. And then if you peek behind the grill, Mario, you see we've got a 40 inch down low and then we've got a 30 inch up top. Again, we've got our big uh, extreme mounting bracket, our EMB behind there. And then we were able to use the factory feet and mount those up. And then there's some trimming you have to do around the scoops for the radiator and stuff like that to get that to fit. And you'll notice, cause I'll keep forgetting to mention it, but you'll notice everywhere that everything's been powdered or painted. So you'll see the entire bumper used to be chrome that's been painted. What we did this year is we went back and we actually covered it with a, um, a clear bra so that we don't get any more chipping because we did you know, a sin and painted over a chrome bumper, which is always a opportunity for rock chips and stuff like that, so they're picking at it. So we touched everything up and then clear broad the entire thing. You'll see the grill's been completely painted to match. And then the lighting, I'll go stay on this side, Mario, I forgot you already yelled at me. So for the lighting, you'll see we went and had a complete build gold standard, hooked us up and just did the hole insides in the white. You'll see he swapped out the bottoms with cubes. And then we've got the switchbacks in the corners. We've removed the orange reflectors in there. And then we've got the LEDs upgraded into the headlights. You see down here, we did a custom fit of a five and a half inch LED pod. So we got rid of the fog lights. And if you look close at actually, we had to custom cut those into there to get those to fit. So that was a little bit of work to get that to happen. You see the mirrors there, the upgraded tow mirrors. With the side markers, I think I'll be coming back through and blacking that out in the very near future. Window tint to match the rears is all 20%. And then same story back here with the tail lights. You'll see this is just an eBay tail light that I found that we knew that uh, Albert was gonna be able to cut apart. Sent that out to him. He completely um, painted everything, got rid of some of the red markers and stuff and then came around and even painted the, the chrome shroud on it to white that out and give it a white border. The bumper's all painted. We've got vinyl on all the bow ties, cleaning those out. I'll show you up on the windows here. This is also all vinyl. So this is all vinyl wrapped all the way along, getting rid of the black rubber. And then back here, you'll see we've got bed rug on the entire truck. And then we put in the swing cases 
where we keep all of our uh, shoe shine. Keep the truck looking fresh, Mario. So that's where I keep all my detail products. And then for a cover, we just found this one. So you'll see the cover, we also just found the Lomax, which if you look at this thing, it sits absolutely perfectly flush. I think it's up here about three eighths of an inch. And then we vinyl wrap the entire Lomax to give it that complete whiteout on top of the bed cover too. So it's an aluminum cover. It's got absolutely no subframe. So when you flip it up, there's nothing here to contend with. And that's why our swing case doesn't hit anything either. So the whole thing works great locks down and then once you shut and lock your tailgate you've got a secured bed which i'm freaking excited about i've been looking for that for two years and finally just found it take a look inside mario left tell me if i miss anything these are all vinyl wrapped the handles you'll hear that we powdered the the uh, suspension because it takes a beating we painted a lot of the body parts including a lot of the plastic and stuff like that. And then we wrapped anything that didn't seem like it would work with paint or stuff like this that is just easier to go through and wrap. So on the inside, we went through and wrapped all of the um, fascia, all of the um, dash panels in white. We went through and did cat skin. So it's a black cat skin with a white stitch throughout the entire truck. And then we just had the, uh, the biggest moonroof that I could find put up there. I still want to get one the size of the entire roof, but I'm struggling finding a single piece like that. And then in the back, same thing, vinyl wrapped the door handles and cat skinned everything. And you'll see we also added the amp steps. The five inch lift was something to jump into. The six inch, six and a half inch lift was never going to happen. So. We added the amps research steps with the lights on them. And now it's like a transformer. You'll see I did the lower brow up front on this one. It just kind of give it that minute uh, sinister look. And then if you look at the windshield, I also added a white brow across the top, creating kind of a chop top look, bringing down the roof a little bit and kind of giving it that chop top, old school. Whew! I'm winded, Mario. Little stereo action, show you that in the back. So all I did here was a simple uh, 10 inch kicker. Then it's got a kicker, I think 1000 watt, and hooked that all up to the factory head unit. So it just pops a little bit and makes the uh, factory stereo have a little pick me up and go, but nothing too carried away. I'll give you a little peek underneath the hood too, because did a little bit of paint to match under there. For exhaust, what we did is we had a little trick from the muffler back. We did a Flowmaster 40. And then the old tailpipe, we spun 180 degrees, plugged it back in, and it actually created a natural axle dump. And then you'll see we put the world's biggest tip on there for the haters. Even though this is a six liter gaster, we put the big diesel tip on and dumped it over the axle, mainly because we can. That's all I have to say about that, Mario. She needs a little touch-up paint. We're actually looking at getting a different tip because we feel we need a big white tip on the back of there. And then the other thing I just noticed, wheel lights. So we'll give you a shot of those so you can check out the wheel lights, which with these chrome wheels just glow and light up that white suspension and everything around it. Oh, you know what, Mario, I forgot. I also have spike lug nuts in my sexy purple spiked bell stem caps. And you'll see we got the brake calipers and everything like that, white, as white as they can be considering they're brake calipers. 
So that is the update on CO2. I'm sure because we have an obsession, we're not done there and we're gonna keep going on this one. But we wanted you guys to be able to check that out because we're gonna be out to the shows now and go show it off to the rest of the world. Peace.